वेलकम बैक एवरीवन वंस अगेन टू दिस वीकली मास्टरमाइंड एंड आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड प्रीवियस सेशंस एंड दिस सेशन इज गोइंग टू बी अगेन अ गेम चेंजर इफ यू नो व्हाट इज मिनिमलिज्म इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू नो मोर अबाउट इट इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी आईडिया व्हाट इज मिनिमलिज्म यू विल गेट टू नो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट मिनिमलिज्म एंड मिनिमलिस्ट लाइफस्टाइल ओके नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इज फर्स्ट let's see what is minimalism okay maximize your life by being minimalist you know what we have to do we have to maximize our life we have to do everything we have to create impact we have to create value in our life all the areas of our life by being minimalist in this session we are going to get to know how to do it okay be with me for half an hour and i'll i'll tell you how to do it okay exactly step by step now minimalism is not just about having less but making room for more of what really matters exactly one more time okay minimalism is not just about having less it is not about having less or being cheap or something like this you know people get confused minimalism with you know you know being cheap in the journey or no it is not like that it is focusing on the more important things the things which truly matters to us okay minimalism is all about focusing on those things only which truly matters to us what is minimalism the same thing in minimalism what we are doing we have to re removing excess like we don't want we don't want to overwhelm ourselves with things around us and it is not just uh like people again get confused with only productivity and people get confused minimalism with uh you know with uh, just having a less clothes in your wardrobe no minimalism is much more bigger area than that it is a big concept it can be applied in any area of your life okay removing the excess means we don't want you know thousand friends no need we don't want thousand friend no need you know just imagine if you have thousand friends or you might be having right i i know you people are already having 100 thousands of followers in social media accounts right whenever you need some help from your friend are those connection are those network of social media are going to help you no that is minimalism removing those network and focusing on few only which really important to us which truly matters four friend friends five friends which truly matters to us so removing the excess and focus on the essentials removing the excess focus on essentials that is the meaning of minimalism i'll give you one more example like you can take minimalism in any area just tell me the area and we can create minimalistic lifestyle in that particular thing let's start from mobile mobile phone no need to have hundred of applications deleted because the more thing you will have the more distraction it it will create in your mind okay so please if you really want to focus on things which is important to you just try to have those things only which is important you can take it in your to do list as well like when we write our to do list if you write hundreds of things you can't do anything in a proper way if you write three things as as we always you know teach and preach in our sessions in our community that you have to write three tasks for each day every day you just have three tasks and done that's it no need to write the fourth one three is more than enough so that is what that is minimalism just focus on three things which really matters or else what we'll do we'll just write hundreds of to do lists and just overwhelm ourselves with that information it is not going to make any value in your life okay clear so this is what minimalism is now let's let's see okay let's see some core principles how it works okay what are the principles of minimalism uh by the way yeah one more thing one more thing uh first when when i got introduced with this uh, minimalism concept uh, way back in 
you know like eight years back uh i i heard one quotation one quotation is it's a simple one line less is more and it it gives me a you know a kick yeah, what exactly it is what is less is more huh? then i dive into the concept what exactly less is more that is minimalism the less things you have it will create more value that is less is more then i read three major books on this topic and i i really recommend those three books to you people as well please read this all the three books focusing on this concept only number one was minimalism only there is a book called minimalism you can read that there is one more called essentialism essentialism very very you know i i like like that book properly written and so many things unfolded in that particular book essentialism and there is one more called the one thing the one thing all these three books focusing on one concept only that we don't have to have everything no need to have much much you know we we are in a race right to acquire more things no need come on acquire less but more impactful okay now let's see the principles four principles uh, core pillars of minimalism okay intentionality now what is intentionality now every item activity relationship is chosen with a clear purpose like example choosing to keep only clothes that you wear regularly and love rather than having a closet full of items that are rarely worn right now you have to intentionally choose things which you know which are important to you relationships which are important to you no it is not like just go and just uh, scrolling your uh, amazon application and buying any random stuff no you must know it i really want it or not right think about it. that is one one of the pillar of minimalism okay every item activity relationship is chosen with clear purpose i need it or not if not then no need to take it i don't want it right if it is not if if a particular thing is not creating value in my life i don't need it if a particular relationship is not creating value in my life i don't need that relationship if particular gadget if a particular cloth is not creating value or impacting my life in any way i don't need it okay now second one is simplification and i you know if if you have watched my previous sessions as well you know that i am this person i i love to simplify things i don't want complex words i don't want complex concepts i don't i just want to have a simple definition that's it this is how it is if you do this you'll get this simple as simple as that so simplification stream streamlining possessions tasks thoughts reduce complexity simplifying your kitchen by keeping only essential cookware utensils you use daily instead of cluttering it with gadgets appliances you rarely use exactly and and just right now okay do this exercise right now wherever you are sitting i don't know huh? i don't know where where uh, you are sitting in your bedroom in your living area garden wherever just look around and see how many things you you have how many possessions you have which is you know you rarely use right so and like it is not creating any value in your life if you are not using it that means it is not creating value in your life you have just get it you have impulse buying you have you did some impulse buying and that's it so we have to by minimalism we have to reduce this as well next M mindfulness yeah mindfulness being present and fully engaged with each moment practicing mindfulness by focusing on single task at, at a time 
like enjoying a meal without distraction from phones and TV. Like now in this mindfulness, this is a, again a principle which uh, we have to operate in here, in your mind, right? Being present, right? For example, if you are right now, if you are here watching this session, so you have to be fully present in this session. This is one more concept in minimalism only. It is not all about physical stuff. The tangible stuff, no. It is about the mind as well. And focusing on one thing at a time. Okay. Next is quality over quantity. The most important. Quality over quantity. We don't want quantity. We want quality. Okay. Valuing high quality durable items. Investing few high quality piece of furniture that you love and that will last a long time rather than frequently buying cheaper low quality items. Okay. So these are few things like we also do these things and Indians are mostly uh, do this, this stuff, right? We, we want everything. We want everything and we want everything cheap, right? As cheap as we can, right? So don't focus on that. Like if, no need to have four pair of shoes. Not required. If you have one or two, more than enough. A good high quality shoes, which will last for at least seven years, five years, six years. Right? So, the, if, if you, it is difficult, right? Because uh, uh, we have wired, already wired in a way that we can't do that. It is not easy for us to do it. Minimalism, and accepting or applying minimalistic lifestyle, not easy. Very, very difficult. But we can do a little bit, right? We can start from somewhere and we can at least start the journey, right? Okay. So I want every one of you to start the journey of minimalism right now, right here with me. Okay. I'll give you the practical action steps as well, how to do it. All right. Okay, now benefits of minimalism. As you know, minimalism is all about less is more. Okay. We want few things, but we want high value things. More impact in our life. Now, what are the benefits of having a minimalistic lifestyle or by applying minimalism in our life? Okay, let's see benefits. Mental clarity and focus. You have less things. For example... Again, I, I told you about to-do list, right? If you write hundreds of to-do list, it, it will create clutter, mental clutter, right? If you have three things only in your to-do list that I need to do tomorrow, these three things, that, that, that's it. High, high value, high impact things, clear. Three things, you will be automatically get focused on those three things. If you have hundred of list, you can't focus on any of these hundred tasks. Not even in one. You'll just focus on how I'm going to complete this to-do list, right? How I'm going to check it off. And believe me, if you try that I want to be very productive, I will check it off all the hundred things. You can't able to do one thing with full focus, with the best quality, with the best you can, right? You can't give your hundred percent, come on. Okay. So minimalism will help you to get more clarity, focus that, okay, these are the, like, for example, uh, let's say Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. He, he, he has only one type of t-shirt, black, great t-shirt he used to wear. That's it. Why? Because he don't want to clutter his mind for this decision. He don't want that decision fatigue in his life every morning. That what t-shirt or what shirt should I wear in this meeting? No, no need. They have many other works to focus on, right? So, yeah, that is one example of minimalism as well. Mental clarity and focus. Very important. Another benefit, wealth empowerment. Like, I don't, I don't want you to go with this mindset. But definitely, if you start applying minimalism in your life, you know, in 30, 30 days, you will see that you are start saving money as well. You are getting good quality things, but 
you're not getting cheap you're getting one thing which is a good quality and high value thing but you are not buying any cheap stuff hundreds of cheap stuff you buy every month right so if you calculate it at the end of the month if you analyze your spending you'll see that by applying minimalism in your life you save money as well okay another benefit yeah it's it's a benefit right having less more value right improve relationships as well like again uh we all we all have networks right we all have networks even like if, if i talk about brino script community right now if i talk about all the people who are in a circle who are you know who have taken courses from us who are with us in social media and all if i calculated everything there at least we have a family of 20000 people we have family of 20000 people who are connected with us in some way okay but if you fo i'm not definitely it's my family i i want to give my 100% but my real family is my parents wife a kid right if so you definitely you have to focus on the people who are creating value in your life like real value okay uh, i'll give you one more example like if a person has again a friends right if a person have 15 20 friends okay it is not that helpful if you have three friends this three friends when they they create more value in your life than 15 others okay so you have to focus on these three because if you have 15 friends definitely you can't make that bond you can't call everyone every week not possible but if you have three friends you can definitely catch up in a meeting in a call in a you know a con call for one hour a week two hours a week and you have a great relationship with each other and that will create a value in your life okay so it will improve relationship if you start using this concept in your relationship it will improve the relationship as well productivity yeah the most important thing as i told you like um, in one of the session i i had i had a day before yesterday i had a session i had a one on one personal consultation with a person and the person has i asked what is your one year goal and the person has a list of 15 20 things that this is what i want to do in one year okay if you have 20 things it is very difficult to achieve it because again the focus focus you can't focus at one thing right at a time you, your focus like if you're working in this particular goal and thinking about that goal that okay i'm working in this but what about that goal if you're working on that goal you're thinking of third goal okay what about this one right you can't focus you can't give your 100 percent if you're overwhelmed you know you're getting too much you want too much everyone want too much in their life but to improve productivity, it is very important to have a minimalistic mindset. Have maximum two goals. Primary, secondary. That's it. Okay. And rest, if you want to have, have a hobby, not a goal. Okay. Don't consume, con confuse yourself. Okay. Have two goals. Primary, secondary. That's it. Focus on those things. And it will create. If you have 15 goals, you focus on 15 goals. You can't create that much value in one year. If you have two goals only and you focus, give attention, energy, time to those two goals for one year, you create magic in one year. That is productivity. Okay. And productivity is all about doing less. Uh, like focusing on less, doing less and producing more. That is productivity. Okay. So it will help you to enhance your productivity as well. All right. Now I want to tell you some practical steps. Practical steps, how you can perform uh, or how you can start with the journey of minimalism. Okay. Let's see. Number one, declutter your physical space. Okay. Again, just after, after this watching this session, go back to your wardrobe. Okay. 
and you you if you can just get out everything from your wardrobe okay arrange it properly you will see that there are four or five outfits which you use regularly rest everything you use very rarely and there are few which you have not used from past six months eight months one year maybe you don't need those stuff if you're not using something for six months that means you don't need it please declutter physical space because again there is a connection between your physical space and your mental space if everything around you is cluttered your mind is going to get cluttered as well okay so please start decluttering it is difficult i know it it is difficult because i have tried even in my house i have to fought with my mom to get things decluttered from home because my mom possesses things like she you know when when we were young she has things from at that time right when we, and she don't want to leave because you know there are memories with it and everything with it but that's not how, how life would be right you have to declutter your physical space and get some good ones right no need of 100 things come on we need few things two three four things high value which which can create value in your life right which will create value in your wardrobe okay few outfits which can really create an impact and change your personality those kind of outfits no need of of having a 20 30 shirts and you know uh trousers no need all right next second thing what you can do is digital minimalism what is digital minimalism there are three four areas again in digital if you talk about uh number one just right now look at your mobile phone and count how many applications are there they are default applications i i, I don't i'm not saying uh we can't do anything with that okay default application will be there so accept default application count how many applications you have in your mobile phone and at a time you must not have more than eight seven or eight application more than enough seven eight application mobile application and more than enough why because it is consuming a lot of time you don't you 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 can't you don't know it right but it is taking your time away like for example if you want to scroll whatsapp okay now now whatsapp is start from w you have to scroll a lot to get the whatsapp if it is not in your home screen so you might be come across one more application which uh which trigger your brain that okay let's let's see what inside maybe a linkedin you don't want to go into a linkedin right now but because during scrolling whatsapp you got the linkedin you you click on it and you just check the notifications instagram check the notifications okay so more application consume more time as simple as it is directly proportional and it will uh you know uh it will increase your spendings as well you know it you know it it will increase your spending as well if you have everything from zomato swiggy big basket and amazon everything in your phone you scroll you are going to whatsapp but in a way you will see all these application you open one you got something and you ordered one more thing notifications you get like swiggy is amazing right their, their digital team is very good in this in app notifications they are very good they are killing the market right it's so great they they give us so great uh, <laughs> notification that you can't stop yourself to getting into this trap right so again you you spend more if you have more applications in your phone so digital minimalism first thing is your mobile application number two uh your storage mobile storage no need to have all the whatsapp 
forwards in your mobile phone. No need. Because if you have so many WhatsApp forwards, when you, whenever you want to find anything which is very crucial for you, you can't find it. Like thousands of images are there. You can't find one which is important for you. Okay. So again, make a routine. Make a routine to delete all these things from your mobile phone. That is called digital minimalism. Okay. Uh, one more. If you if we talk about your laptop, Gmail. If you talk about Gmail, lot of things you have to unsubscribe. I'm not saying unsubscribe from Brainerstrip because we are really going to give you good uh, courses, good sessions like this through mail. So don't unsubscribe us. But there are a lot of things which is not creating value in your life. Those things you have to unsubscribe. Okay. Um, what else? Same with laptop as well. If you have just in your desktop, you must have few, only few folders, few files over there, few softwares over there. That's it. When you're using a Chrome browser, try to use not more than three tabs at a time. Again, mental clutter. If you have 20 tabs open in a Chrome browser, it is a kind of mental clutter. It, you know, it, it will reflect here. You can't focus properly on whatever you're doing. If you have 20 tabs open, try it, try it. Come on, try it and then tell me. Okay. This is digital minimalism. Second thing, what you can start doing from today. Mindful spending. Again, I, I covered this, right? Uh, whenever you open Amazon, First of all, no, we don't need the, that application. I'm not against Amazon. I'm I'm also ordering things from it. But I used to order from a browser because it is more difficult. So if you are using browser, that means if something re you really need, then only you will take that much effort. Huh? Go to your Chrome bar browser or any other browser and search for Amazon.n and then sign in over there and then search for the thing. But if you have application and you know 100% that I don't need this particular thing, but at the end of the day, you know it what happened, right? So mindful spending, very important. It will help you in two ways, mental clutter or physical clutter, as well as you'll save some money, right? Mindful spending, very important. Even same with Swiggy and Zomato as well. We do it, right? We know that we don't need food right now. It is just a craving. But because when we get this craving, we have that application in our mobile phone. We, it is just one click away. We do it. It is harming your pocket as well as your health. Okay? Not good for us. So... Again, just think about it. If you don't have Swiggy and Zomato application installed in your mobile phone, how much you can save in a month? Just think about it and it will blow your mind. If you just, just delete. Okay, let's, let's do one experiment, everyone. Just for 30 days, delete three applications. Those companies are going to kill me, right? Amazon, Swiggy and Zomato. If you just delete these three applications, from your mobile phone, you will save, like you can calculate after 30 months, 30, I don't know, you analyze this month, current, previous month, and you, you'll, you'll get to know how much you'll save. Because whenever you really need, just tell me how many times a month you order from a Zomato or Swiggy application. And tell me how many times from that, you order, which is like a pre-decided thing that, okay, tonight uh, we are not going to make food and we have to order or we have a party. We have to order from Zomato. You will see 20% time you have a requirement, which is really required. And I'm not asking, don't use it, use it for the requirement. Definitely. We have technology, we have facility, use it, but you will see 80% time you actually, you're not hungry. And still you're ordering from those applications. That is craving. We call it craving. Yeah. Right. 
<laughs> All right. So yeah, please do that. Simplifying schedules. Yes. Again, one more important thing. Um, you know, people think that if the calendar is if if we use Google calendars, okay, if we, if we are using Google calendars and our Google calendar is totally, you know, filled up with things that, okay, there's no space for relaxation. Everything is fixed up. All the schedule, everything is scheduled and it, we are overwhelming ourselves. Okay. No need to do, do that. No, not required. Give yourself a space to think. Give yourself buffer time for anything definitely you have to schedule schedule few things which are impactful for you which create value for you no need to schedule each and everything in your calendar and no need to fill all the time with things no not required okay simplify your schedules declutter your schedule delete things which is not required which is not creating that much value delete all those things okay or you what you can have like for example uh i told you to-do list if you're writing everything on to-do list don't do that why because okay i know that you have to do everything you have to do everything but what happens when we see that 20 tasks our brain is like no i can't do this sorry it's not my cup of tea Nahi hoga. Right? Your brain give up at that time only. And then you try to complete and check off those tasks. How it is not possible. Come on to do it properly, efficiently, effectively. Okay. Better, better. One trick, one trick here. What you can do is give yourself one hour to do all the chores. Like in work as well, we have regular chores, huh? which is things which we have to do. And which is not creating any value in our life. Like for example, replying to emails. We we have to do it. We have to reply to emails. Not creating that much value in our life. Okay. So or social media posting. If you are you are posting social media, it is creating some value, but not that much valuable. So all these chores, regular chores, regular stuff, put it in that one hour slot, complete it. Not don't write it in to-do list. Okay. Fix a, a schedule for it. Uh, in different uh, way and complete it and in your main work day you have to complete three MIT most impactful tasks that is enough okay simplify it. regularly assess and review yeah one more very important thing here is you have to assess and review it like you have to give time like I told you okay have only seven application in your mobile phone okay you will do okay now I am going to delete everything today only but what will happen after one month because you are downloading again these applications right so you have to fix a time like okay every second monday second week monday i'll delete my applications mobile applications whatever i i don't use will not required i'll delete every third week tuesday every month one tuesday or bi-weekly i'll declutter my wardrobe okay these are the things you can do you have to fix one schedule to see whether you are actually because we it is a lifestyle right you have to take this thing in your lifestyle so that you have to do it again and again so you must have a schedule for that when i'm going to reassess it Okay, and review it. Clear? So these are the few things you have to do. Mindful eating, again, very important. Very, very, very important for us. Okay, mindful eating. We know that this particular food will harm us. We know it is not good. We know this Coke bottle is like a poison. Right? But still, we enjoy it we drink it okay so difficult i'm not saying all these things are very easy but essential okay at least you must have one once a week no sugar day 
no sugar day once a week at least very important okay like like uh, we have fastings right similarly no sugar okay so mindful eating very important concept in minimalism and you people already know importance of it okay so i don't have to tell you this now finally we come almost come to the end of the session and i am going to give you quick tips for you know to quick uh, kick start your journey right away okay of minimalism start small begin with one room or area like your closet gradually move to other parts of your home like no need to okay from tomorrow i'll declutter my home no it don't won't work like this okay because a lot of things at your home which you have to properly think assess and decide whether you want this or not okay so what you can do first start with your work space see what are the things you must have in your work space because it is important because you are working over there okay so you must create that environment for yourself so that you can give your 100 percent wherever you are working okay so start with your work space your wardrobe your living area you, you can decide you know where i am putting more time according to prioritize that and accordingly declutter every space same goes with once you're done with physical then think about your digital space how i'm going to do that then think about your social media, then think about your email, all these things, one by one, one at a time, okay? Let's start small. One more rule over here is, adopt one in, one out rule. Once you, first of all, first thing you have to declutter. Declutter it, donate things, come on, you're donating. So you're giving it for charity, the old things, which are you're not using, it is a waste. You know, you have just put a lot of waste in your wardrobe. First thing, you're decluttering your wardrobe. You're decluttering your mental space as well as you're helping people out in the society. Okay? Donate everything, whatever you don't use. Okay? Simple rule. One more. Apart from this, simple rule. Whatever clothes, I told you, you won't wear like from last six months. If, if you're not wearing any clothes from last six months, not required okay okay one or two is exception like if you have a, a particular sherwani which you used to or blazer which, which we don't usually use um for a particular marriage function or something like this a grand event then okay take do, two three things exception rest everything donate okay give it to someone who will love to wear it every single day Okay, it will create value in their life as well as in your life. Then, after doing this, you have to adopt this formula, one in, one out rule. If you are buying one dress, you have to throw out another. Throw out as in donate. Donate another one. Okay, for every new item you bring in your home, let old one go. Okay. Next. Prioritize quality over quantity. Invest in high quality durable item rather than cheap ones. I told you the importance of this as well. You will save money. You will create value. You will look good in this by, by following this. Focus on experiences, not things. Spend money on experiences that create memories rather than material possessions. Okay? These things create value in your life. Okay? Just think about what will it going to create value in my life or not? How it is going to create value in my life? Think about all this question before doing anything in your life. Okay. Simplify your wardrobe. Create a capsule wardrobe with a versatile pieces that you love to wear often. Like, uh, think like an image consultant. I'm not an image consultant, but think like that. Okay, what kind of uh, clothes? I'm looking good at, right? Think about it. Uh, what are different type of kinds of clothes I must have? What are the, uh, what kind of leather shoes I must have? Which color? Belts. How many belts? Which color? Think about it. Make a list. And then start making your wardrobe, which is few things, but high value. 
which will impact your you know it will create a charismatic personality okay all right <laughs> done <laughs> a lot so many sites over there right okay thank you so much for joining me for this session i'm satyam host for today's session and founder of braino script braino script is india's leading platform for self transformation if we just talk about self transformation the courses the workshops the community we have if just focusing on self growth we are the biggest one okay thank you so much for joining us in this and if you have not followed us on instagram facebook youtube please do it because we are going to put lot of information lot of value in those channels social media as well okay all right bye bye thank you so much see you again